Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with Views About Anything, and today we have the Logitech G613 wireless mechanical keyboard. Uh, this is using the Romer G tactile switch, which is their blue switch. You can see up here in the right corner. Uh, they have it in a couple variations. I think they have it with a Romer G red, and then they have another switch option. I think it was cherry, if I remember correctly, red and blue. But uh, if they have other variations, I'm not sure. I just know I got this one. I did get off of Amazon. It was on sale for, I think, 70 bucks uh, with Prime shipping. So I thought this would be a good uh, mechanical keyboard for working from home. So this is the box. It's just a nice printed box on the outside. On the back, it tells you some of the information here. So it is a full keyboard. It has the number pad as well. And there are also some function keys on the left side I'll show you. It has a light speed technology, the Romer G switch, their G one through six, like I said, their function keys. And then you can use the light speed, which is the little dongle that comes with it or Bluetooth. So let's take this out of the box here. So it comes in just a black cardboard box. We've seen quite a bit of those lately. Uh, just let you guys know, um, the Romer G are a Logitech like in-house style switch. So something to keep in mind if you're not a fan of those switches, then you know that's something you can look out for. I know Cherry is a big thing, and same thing with like Kale and stuff. So these are different than both of those. This is Logitech's kind of like proprietary or in-house switch. Comes with two little pamphlets here. One telling you about where the dongles and batteries are, and then a little safety and warranty and compliance manual. Keyboard here in some plastic. Let's go ahead and take that out, put it to the side. Over here in this little pocket, we have a cell phone holder or a tablet holder, whatever you feel like. And then in the little back box part, we have a dongle extender. So it's just male to female USB here. Here is the keyboard itself. Pretty substantial in the weight. I do like that. Feels good and sturdy. It is a all plastic construction. There's not much twist when I'm doing this, which is nice. Has a built-in palm rest here. And it is mechanical switches, like I said, and there's also a couple different features. So starting over here on the left, we do have our G keys. So these are function keys you can program for like in-game macros or whatever else you want. Then coming over here, we have a game switch. We have our wireless, our Bluetooth, our play pause, stop, back and forward, a mute, and your volume toggle, which is nice to have those buttons dedicated. Uh, right here on the right side, we have the G613, and then we have our on-off switch. Then coming to the back, like a lot of the Logitech products, it's this kind of striped matte slash gloss part. There are three very large rubber feet here at the bottom which are nice. And up at the top, there's two more on the corners, over here on the right, over here on the left. When you flip out the feet, they also have some rubber built in as well. So when we take this door off, you can see it has two AA batteries that are included. And the little Logitech dongle. If you have any modern Logitech G product, this is what they look like. 
It's also very similar to their Office or other wireless mice as well. Just as a comparison, here's one just for their regular mice. So basically the same exact thing. Same thing with their Office products as well. These little tiny dongles are pretty great. So let's flip this back over. Uh, the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that this is not backlit. For the price, I think it retails for 100 bucks. I wish it was backlit. I understand it is a wireless keyboard and everything, but I'd rather you know change out the batteries a little more often and have a wireless function. Per, I mean, a, a, a for the wireless uh, capability and have the backlight. You know, I'm okay with changing out the batteries a little more often. Uh, they do have the G915, I think it's called, which is a wireless version that is backlit, but that's quite a bit more money. And I'm just using this mostly for working from home. I do have a wired keyboard uh, for my desktop when I get that back up and running. So this is more of using with my laptop and moving things around and everything like that. It's just more convenient for it to be wireless at this time. But overall, it, it feels pretty nice. The construction, there's not much flex in it. The switches, feel nice too. It's not like a normal blue. I'll hold the mic a bit closer for you guys. So as you can hear, it's not like a normal blue where it has that real clickiness. It is a regular tactile switch, it is not clicky, which is a little disappointing. Usually blues, and when they're advertised like that, are clicky. Uh, it does have a tactile bump. You can feel it. I can feel it give right in there. Very short travel for it to uh, hit that tactile bump. Other than the backlight and it not being the kind of norm for the community, I guess, of blues being clicky. Those are really the only two downsides, I guess I can see, or upsides for some people. If you like these, um, I guess these would be similar to a brown, where they're tactile without the click. Uh, and then I believe their other one is a linear, so it's gonna be more like a red for the Romer G stuff. Um, like I said, do they? I believe they have cherry as well. Those were a chunk more in money. And uh, I believe it was blue and red as well. So if you do want a clicky version, you'd have to get the cherry version of this keyboard with the blue switches. Um, otherwise, this is kind of like your brown option, which is fine. Like I said, I'm use, mostly using this for typing, for work and everything. I just preference a mechanical keyboard for that. So if you guys have any questions or want me to compare this to some other products, I do have a to sorrow mechanical keyboard and I also have a thermal take mechanical keyboard. I can compare those to this. Both of those are not wireless, they are wired. Um, so I can do that. I might have an office keyboard laying around too, like just a generic membrane I can compare with as well. Um, I'll probably do that in the review, but if there's anything specific, you guys can leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, any other questions besides those, leave them there. Uh, like, subscribe, it really helps out, and also share with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video.